I don't know if they added sugar to it or what they've added to it, but this water has flavor. The way they was playing very dominoes very, very fast, I didn't want to get involved. I just had chicken. <laughs> Hola, come on, so we're back again with another vlog, and on today's vlog, we are in Bizzotto Market. Quite a crazy market. I don't think you can walk the whole market in one entire day because there's so much to see. They've got fruits, they've got veg, they've got raw meat here. They've got cooked food, they've got cerveza here, they've got meat. They've got everything that you can think of in this market. Um, let me put on this mask. Hold on. You can go. Pardon? Oh, I this is the darker section of the market as i said this market is very very massive very huge so it's very easy to get lost if you're coming with friends i suggest you walk together because it's so easy to get lost here there's some bits of the market where it's covered with these like zinc fence. I think it's just like to stop the fruits and vegetables from being affected if it was to rain for example but I'm going to show you the other parts of the market where it's a bit more open people are playing dominoes, people are playing cards and people are selling trainers, people are selling clothes, people are selling tops, trousers, many different things so I'm going to keep showing you along with this market I don't know if you can hear me properly, but this is where the market gets crazy. Everyone's pushing each other to get through. There's no excuse me, there's no thank you, there's no permiso, there's no sorry. Everyone's literally going for themselves in this market. Also, unfortunately, this market is well known for a lot of pickpockets as well. There we also unfortunately this market is well known for pickpockets so if you come to this market make sure you get one of these bags and make sure you got a cross bag to make sure you don't get robbed some nice watches here very good Got some trainers here, some sneakers. Yes, they're not real, but the quality is very, very good. Very good quality. Hola. Tons of trainers here, so like I said, it's so easy to get lost here. But well, they got bags here. Anything that you can think of, they got in this market. So again, they're not going to be real, but the quality is going to be good. But there's like so many different sections, so many different aisles for you to go down. Yeah. I 
I actually walked in a section earlier where they had like some cooked food, they had some I miss it, sorry, sorry, sorry. They, they had some fried food, they had some fried fish, they had some rice, they had some chicken. Well, probably I haven't seen it being made fresh. That's the only reason why I'm not gonna buy food from this market today, because I don't know how long. I don't know how long the food's been out. I don't know when the food was cooked. I don't know if it's been there for a few days. Like you saw in the previous vlog, I had a uh, fish and rice, and that was very nice and tasty, but I know they just made it there and then. But here at the market, I don't know how long this food has been out, so that's the only reason why I'm not again. Empanadas here. As I said in the previous vlog, Colombia is, especially Cartagena, it is hot. I think today is 35 degrees Celsius. Very hot, especially when it's hot wearing a mask is very difficult. Got some nice orange juice, manzana. Uh, but like I mentioned in the previous vlog, definitely have a lime juice. Lime juice is definitely better than the orange juice. And if you're walking down this market, be careful because there's motorbikes going literally all the time. Even on the main road, um, sometimes the motorbikes will ride on the pavement as well. So always check your surrounding. Don't wear no earphones or headphones because literally you get run over in this market. But let's continue walking and let me show you guys a bit more of the market. I actually wanted to get my hair cut in this market. I saw a lovely, beautiful woman that could have cut my hair. But where she's located, there's a lot of music going on. So because of YouTube, if I record a video there whilst the music's playing, I could get striked for copyright. So that's the, literally the only reason why um, I'm not doing recording, getting my hair cut in this market. If I can find somewhere else that cut my hair where there's no music, then I'll do it. But where she was, there was so much music played. So I couldn't do it. Got some nice fish here. One thing about me, when I'm traveling, I, I love to go to the tourist areas, but I also like to go to like the poorer areas or the slums or the market, just so I can see a contrast of both sides. I don't like just going to the tourist areas or five-star resorts. I like going to both, seeing both sides. And one thing about Colombia, which I wasn't expecting, is that there, there is a lot of Caribbean, like bashment, dance or reggae music. So. We can really connect with them by just the music alone. Even if you can't communicate with them, just the type of music that they listen to is the same as what I listen to at home, so it's very easy to communicate. Like this area here in particular, this is where I want to cut my hair, but there's so much loud music. If I was to communicate with a barber, you definitely won't hear me. So that's the only reason why I can't cut my hair here. Right here. I want to cut my hair literally over there. I want to cut my hair over there. Because of the music, I can't cut my hair here. It's so loud. I can't cut my hair. Some people, they would see this as a slum, but I see it as a nice community spirit. Like every, I think it's every day. I don't think it's just Sundays, but every day people come out, have their market. Even if they don't sell anything, it's just like friends coming together, chilling, eating food, vibes in, enjoying themselves. So, but it's so hot.
They're playing dominoes for money. I'm going to see if I can join them after. Yeah, I played. You say your fuego. What means I play? No, your fuego. 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 Next one, next one. Otto, Otto. We're over here to play domino for money, but they play their dominoes mad fast. Like when we play dominoes in Jamaica, we read the game, we check how much numbers. But they play very fast. I'm gonna see if I can join them after. Ah, this market's crazy. I didn't get to play dominoes because they're in a deep game of dominoes playing for money. And when, especially when there's money involved, if if I was to win, that I think they will go crazy. So to be on the safe side, I'm not playing dominoes with them. It was good watching them playing dominoes. Um, but I feel like they play dominoes a bit different compared to how people play dominoes in Jamaica. So that's the only reason why I didn't play. Uh, when there's money involved, it's a bit more difficult. When there's no money involved, then it's a bit more friendly sport. But the way they was playing very dominoes very, very fast, I didn't want to get involved because they might have just bumped me or they might complain that I'm not playing the correct way and I might complain that they're not playing the correct way. So, simply because there was money involved, that's the only reason why I didn't take part in the dominoes game. But I'm going to show you guys a bit more of the market not much going on, there's not much entertainment, but I'm going to show you guys. Go on. in a bag let me see over to see yeah quanta uh, five no 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 dos I just bought this for two see gracias senor let's go they was trying to charge me five thousand pesos that's more than a can of more than a can of beer or cerveza so again simply because you're a tourist they'll charge you a bit more just know the price difference they sell the water in a bag which i've got here we get water in a bottle so i've got this for two thousand pesos colombia pesos which i believe is under a pound or under a dollar so just make sure you know the currency when you're traveling to these places more environmentally friendly i don't know if this is more environment friendly than getting a bottle but i decided to opt for this one just for the experience this is the good good lime juice you need to get when you come here Listen, no one can tell me that water does have a taste. When you come here, or you come to Columbia General, always get the crystal brand. Very tasty. I don't know if they added sugar to it, or what they've added to it, but this water has flavor, 100%. If you're someone that can't handle strong smells, I wouldn't recommend coming to this part of the market. You will smell different types of smell. One second you're smelling fish, next minute you're smelling beef. Next minute you're smelling vegetables, so many different kinds of smells here. So if you haven't got a strong stomach, I want to recommend coming to this part of the market. Hola, senor. Ch 
made it out so that's gonna wrap up the vlog guys so that's the bazooka or bazooka market again there's a lot of things you can buy in this market you can buy a lot of toys souvenirs sweets drinks beers many things but i wouldn't recommend buying any cooked food here i would buy like raw fish here or like beef or chicken or things like that but actually actual cooked food I wouldn't buy it from here because I literally because I don't know how long it's been out. I don't know if it's clean. I don't know if they've washed the meat. I don't know how long it's been there for. I don't know if it's seasoned well. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't get cooked meals from this market. But I'm gonna head out. Getting hella stairs now. So that's gonna wrap up the vlog.